In this video, I'd like to talk about congruent triangles and the angle-angle side congruence rule or postulate. And essentially what this is saying is that if we have two triangles and let's say we know this angle is equal to this angle, we know this angle B is equal to angle E, and we know this side length BC is equal to this side length FE or EF, then these two triangles are congruent. And we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So if we know two consecutive angles that match up with two consecutive angles in the other triangle, and the side length following that second angle, that second set of equal angles, if that side length is equal as well, then the two triangles are the same shape and the same size. And there are a couple different ways to look at this relationship, this rule. One is that this is essentially a special case of the angle side angle congruence rule. Since remember that if we know two angles in a triangle, we can find the third angle. And that can be found since the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if you know two of them, you can just set up an equation. You can call this X, add those together, set it equal to 180 degrees, and then solve for that missing angle. So therefore, this angle C and this angle F must be equal. And then notice we have angle, side, angle, and again, angle, side, angle here. So we can also just use this congruence rule, which we looked at in a previous video. So angle, side, angle, angle, side is really just a special case of angle, side, angle. But there is another intuitive way to consider why these must be congruent without really considering this angle side angle congruence. So let's consider a case where we have two different triangles and let me draw in one triangle that we know. And in this triangle, we can say we know this angle, we know this angle here, and we know this side length here. And these are going to correspond to these sets of angles and the side length in the third triangle. And to understand this, let's start by drawing the side length that we know. And this is not going to be drawn perfectly, but we can at least reason out why if we know two sets of angles and a side length that's not between the two angles, that these two triangles must be congruent. So for this triangle here, we know that it has this angle here in yellow that we can mark something like that. And it has another side coming off of it here. And we don't know any information about this side. So you can imagine that this side here can be as long as you want. But what we do know is that the side coming off of this has to be at this green angle. So it has to be at some angle that's equal to this one and maybe we can draw it in there and again we don't know anything about this side length it could be as long as we want but this has to form a triangle so you can imagine that we can essentially take this side length and slide it along this side length here so that we can actually close this triangle and just to see this in different ways we could have drawn it up here and then it would look something like that closed but this wouldn't contain the entire blue side so you can imagine there's really only one way to draw this and that has to be right here and again this is at that green angle and this is the only way to draw it so that this triangle actually closes right here so this one's a little bit trickier to understand intuitively but if we summarize it, we start with knowledge of this equal line segment. This is that, let me draw it in blue. This is the blue side over here. And then we start with this yellow angle. 
And this line can be as long as we want, since we're not told any information about it. So we can imagine many different possibilities. But what we do know is that the side length coming off of this has to be at this green angle. And this bottom side can, again, be as long as we want, but it has to be at this angle. So we can try drawing it in many different ways, but what we'll find is that there is only one way to draw this so that the triangle actually closes. And by drawing it that way, that confines the triangle so that this side length here, let me draw it in the right color, this green segment here will have to be the same length as this green segment here. There is only one possible way to draw this triangle where it matches up with this angle, angle side from the other triangle. And once we do close this, this pink side here, this has to be the same length as this one over here. And maybe this will be a little bit clearer if I get rid of this inside green one, since we know that won't work, since anything shorter than this blue line won't contain the full length of the blue line, and so therefore that's not what we know about the triangle. So once we get rid of that inside line, you can see that this length has to be the same length as this one since, again, there is only one way to actually slide this green line up and actually close this triangle. So by knowing two sets of equal angles and a side length that is not between the two sets of equal angles, we can therefore prove that these two triangles must be equal since there is only one way to construct this triangle. So we can call this the angle angle side postulate or you can think of this as a theorem since remember as I stated in the beginning that we could also determine this from the angle side angle postulate. Since if we know two angles that are equal, then therefore we must know the third. And once we know the third, then we can just use angle side angle. So we can prove this angle angle side relationship from a more basic principle, that being the angle side angle rule or postulate. And with this knowledge, we can prove that if you know angle angle side then you know the two triangles are congruent so that's what makes this a theorem since we can prove it from a more basic statement a more basic postulate that we accept it is true and with this let's look at a specific example problem where if we have two different triangles and we can find they have two sets of equal angles and they also have a side length that is not between the two equal angles, then by the angle angle side congruence theorem, we can prove these two triangles are the same size and the same shape and are therefore congruent to each other.